The owners of Rosie's Italian Grill are branching out to their hometown of Perrysburg. This past summer, they opened Rosaria's on 3rd Street. It features all the classic recipes of Sicily and ambiance to die for. It started 40 years ago, and it was my, myself, my brother John, my brother Mike, and obviously my mom Rosie. And then this year, we were lucky enough to get through all COVID and uh, we opened up Rosaria's, which is mom's real name. We wanted to be completely different from our McCord store. We, we talked about doing a coastal Italian, because my mom loved fish, and she, but she was a traditional Italian mama, and she loves her pasta. Here with <laughs> Chef Victor. <laughs> Victor, what are we doing back here? Ah, we're gonna make a couple things. Uh, some new stuff for the fall menu that we're gonna be rolling out soon. Uh, and a couple of mainstays and some of my personal favorites. Oh man, I can't wait. Chef, how do you handle everything all at once when you can get an order with all these different dishes you have to prepare? Um, it's kind of built into the system. You, you obviously have everybody play a very specific role. Right. Um, and, and do you want me to do something? No, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm worthless. I just sit here and smell everything. Victor, what am I looking at here? This so, all looks so amazing. Yeah, we have here uh, a traditional bolognese um, that's gonna be coming in on our fall menu. Um, really excited about that one, nice homemade pappardelle. Uh, we have here a rotating ravioli. Right now we have uh, lobster mousse in a shellfish, shallot, and cherry reduction. Uh, we have here our pork chop, two bone pork chop with a smoked cherry barbecue sauce, which is very good, and a side of linguine marinara. And then we have scallops seared with a sage brown butter and our rotating risotto. Oh, I'm so happy. I need this napkin just to wipe the tears. Is it good when you can taste your own creation and be like, ah, that was good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I um, I mean, you get a little nose blind, you're tasting it over and over and over again. You, you know when it's good. You're like, okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And you just want to make sure that you keep it that way moving forward. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. Lobster ravioli. It's lobster mousse? Yeah, uh, like so it's, it's lobster meat. And I whip it with a little bit of fresh ricotta, Dijon, fresh lemon, mm. lots of chive, a uh, little roasted garlic. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? You're speaking my language. Now these scallops are, you have to get them just right. Scallops yeah. are kind of a delicate process. And if I don't, the team will let me know. Mm. Oh, you nailed it. Perfect. Look at that. I'm gonna join you in a bite. Yeah. Sir? Uh-huh. Marona. Mmm. <laughs> that is amazing. Do not take that off the menu. Victor, this has been incredible. Tony, thank you so, thank much. You so much for yeah. giving hey. me the time. I well, apologize, my hands are sweaty. Hey, you know what? It's a lot of work back there in the kitchen, but if you want to check out Rosaria's on 3rd Street, you can come on down to Perrysburg. They are open for business, and look at all this food. You're going to want to eat it. That's how you dine in the 419.